Green Chapel has had a full and enriching conference year. We have enjoyed contributing to our Chicagoland community and also participating in our own Quinn Chapel enrichments within our church. Our motto for the year has been, we write the narrative to tell of the black experience in Chicago. In August 2016, the men of Quinn sponsored a back to school jamboree and the Paul Quinn Missionary Society collected items to be donated to the New Moms organization. In October, the women of Quinn had their successful annual retreat at Camp Baber in Cassopolis, Michigan. Also in October, we had a fully supported Stop the Violence PLC prayer walk. In November, we initiated many activities and were also recipients of prestigious grants. The men of Quinn established the National Teachers Academy School Reading Initiative. We celebrated our young ladies with the Little Black Dress Tea. Pastor Moody led members to the polls to participate in early voting for the 2016 election. Quinn Chapel received the Lilly Grant, which awarded our church with a $250,000 matching grant. We were also awarded grants in connection with the Adopter Landmark. Grants of $372,000 and $103,000 are pending. Veterans were celebrated and honored at Quinn with a message delivered by Reverend Gregory Williams. In December, the Quinn YPD and Paul Quinn Missionary Society traveled to the Feed My Starving Children site in Schaumburg, Illinois to pack and seal manna packs to be sent to Haiti. In January 2017, Quinn welcomed Bishop Ann Henning Byfield of the 16th District, who delivered a powerful message and a special offering of $5,000 was collected for her to take back to Haiti. Also in January, the successful initiative at the National Teachers Academy was resumed. In April, the women of Quinn had their annual tea. In May, the men of Quinn welcomed Dr. Terry Mason to their annual prayer breakfast. Also in May, we were blessed with a $50,000 grant from Adopt a Landmark. In July, Quinn Chapel celebrated its 170th anniversary. Members participated in an historic walk down Warbash Street from Roosevelt Road to Quinn Chapel. During the anniversary service, Quinn welcomed Bishop John Franklin White, who delivered an inspiring message. Also, during the service, a video of the history of Quinn premiered. In August, the Quinn Chapel Peace in the Streets Ministry and the Preservation of Life campaign marched in the annual Bud Billiken Parade. As we look back over this conference year, we thank God for our blessings and are grateful to our church family for sharing their time and talents with Quinn Chapel in our community. We continue to write the narrative.